today we're talking coats. It's that time of year for a lot of people, this is the time of year that they go out and get coats. Now I live in Los Angeles and I have way more coats than anybody living here should have, but I used to travel a lot. And sometimes, oftentimes, when I did travel, I would buy a coat or, or two coats. I love coats. Recently, I started to watch the series, oh shoot, what's it called? The Undoing, which is from two years ago. I think I've watched it twice or three times. Sometimes I'm not really paying attention, but I really love the clothes that Nicole Kidman is wearing. And I did a little Google search, you know, where are these clothes from? And the only thing I got were many, many, many outlets were talking about her coats, which were amazing. She has this chartreuse green, but it looks like there's a print in it, like an animal zebra or I, I, I don't know what. She has a velvet kind of burgundy purplish. Then she has a cloth that is a burgundy brick. She has something that is a teal blue, but not a bright teal blue, kind of a grayed out teal blue. And those, oh, and then she has one from Etro, which was beautiful. And I thought, let's see if we can find some coats inspired by her look. Spoiler alert. No, I, some of those coats were actually made by the costumer. She had them commissioned to be made. I'm sure she didn't sew them herself. So I didn't find something exact, but I did find a lot of coats. Some are daily coats. They're not colorful, but some are colorful and unique and fun. And a lot of them are really well priced. I did a lot of searching on affordable websites and a little bit of searching on things that are a little more expensive that are on sale. I actually posted a few of my selects on my community page because I saw there was like three left in one size and I thought these are so gorgeous. If somebody who is watching my community page is looking for a beautiful coat and has the budget for it and getting it a third off or half off or more and it makes their day, it's, it's worth it. I just had to share. So I'm going to pull my computer up and put my glasses on and we're going to talk about the coats that I found and hopefully there will be a coat here for you. A coat can make your outfit. In fact, sometimes you can just be a full out slob, put on a brilliant coat and it really doesn't matter because if you're in cold weather, you're probably not gonna take it off. If you're out running errands, you know, going to the bookstore, going to a bank, going to a Sephora, whatever it is. Of course, if you're going to a restaurant, you're going to take it off and you'll wanna be dressed underneath. But I just, think a coat is everything. I love a coat. This time of year, I'm kind of using my big teddy coat, which I'm gonna get to it, you guys. I bought the teddy coat when I was in Amsterdam, and I was in Amsterdam for summer mostly, and then th this cool front came in and it was starting to be, gosh, I don't remember, I guess it was starting to be August or September, and I was getting chilly and I hadn't packed a coat. I was there for about three months. And so I walked around and I found that Amsterdam has some really good secondhand places and I found this gray teddy coat. This is years before it became a thing. I mean, years, years, years before it became a thing. And in fact, the button is on the other side, so I think this was a men's coat. I can go on and on about coats. I'm not going to. I'm going to put on my glasses and we're going to get into it. This is the coat that made me think, I need to do a video about coats. <laughs> this coat is so fun and so inexpensive. Who cares if you only wear it for two seasons? The way they styled it here with all black underneath is lovely, it's ideal. Of course, if you're in cooler weather, you want to do a scarf because it is a bit of a V with a really wide lapel, which, you know, lapels can go in and out of style. I feel like it's a style right now, which makes this kind of coat current, but it's fantastic. I could wear this with a dress. I could wear, you know, a dress with boots, of course, because it's more of a winter thing. So your legs are covered, maybe a long dress or a short dress with tights and high boots, which I can't wear because my calves are massive. No matter what size I am, even at my thinnest, I really couldn't do boots, but I love that and a really great price. 
Now this, I took this shot myself because on this site they really were too into the model moving and not so into showing you what the coat looked like, if that makes sense. But it is um, a trench and they have it in a couple of colors, but I love the winter white and I think it's incredibly classic. Again, the lapel's a little bit bigger, so maybe it's not something you would have forever, but this is not, to me, a forever price. You know, a coat that you're going to keep for a long time, you're either going to luck out into something that's classic and a good, good cut and a good price, or you're going to have to spend a little bit of money. But I really like that. Now this, I don't know what the word is for this. I think there actually is. It doesn't close. There are no buttons. I have something like this that I'm wearing right now. Mine is a shawl color. It's quite narrow and it's a fabric that is a little like a neoprene. Let me get it. This is a little bit of a shawl collar, but it's not too thin. It has some pockets. It's a bit of like a neoprene, like you can stretch this. I got this at Zara a couple of years ago and it's right above the knee and I love this. I love this color and I feel like there's something really classic. And I have a couple of scarves that I can pair this up with. I don't know where my scarves went because I have to hand wash a couple of them. But to me, that is a lot like this one. And it's the kind of thing that you're just going to wear over and over and over again. Either more towards the spring if you're in a cold weather climate or Right now, if you're someplace like Los Angeles, you just want a nice big scarf for it. And scarves are everything when it comes to coats. Usually when I do these screenshots, they include the price, but because these stores have different layouts, uh, hit the links below. They're all in order. I'm telling you, these are good prices. Now pink, this Barbie pink is a thing right now. Whether you like that thing or not, this is maybe a way to do it. Like you want to be what's happening right now, but you don't want to invest the money. Another trench, this I believe looks like it's a satin. And how fun. I actually have something similar to this. It's from Christian Lacroix. I was in Paris. And somebody that I worked with was invited to one of those things. I think they have them in New York all the time where they sell samples and whatnot. I got a beautiful price on it, but it was still expensive. And mine actually has these shoulder pads because it was a long time ago and shoulder pads were in style. And it's like a lilac, lavender kind of a color. I wore it all the time. I wore it on top of overalls. Of course, you know, I wore overalls with a belt and I, I had fun with my overalls. and pearls and then I put this over it or I wear it over dresses. I wore it a lot. You might get more wear out of this than you think possible. I think I only stopped wearing it because I felt there was a problem with the lining and I needed to take it in and I never did. Back in those days I didn't I didn't do that kind of stuff and the last time I put it on I thought oh I never noticed these shoulder pads. But that can be a fun one for you to do. Something that makes you smile for a couple of months, why not? This I love. So this is a deep khaki and I think they make this coat in a couple of colors. It's a double breast but they're wearing it open. Again, a wide lapel and I think this is such a cool look. It's not so cool that you're edgy but it, it could be depending on how you style it. This color is really big right now. It, this is a longer coat and I think it's also double breasted. I took this picture because I thought I, I liked it. It showed the length, it showed how it moves, and I love what they styled it with, with the baseball cap and the spats. For me, I don't love this color, but when Bottega did that purse a couple of years ago, people went crazy. I think it's Kelly Green. And here's another Kelly Green. Now this is a, a waxed, I think, cotton. It's a special treatment cotton, and it's a trench, a double-breasted trench, quite long. Let's put it this way. It doesn't rain that much where I live, although we just had, like, Noah's Ark kind of rain. I don't know if this kind of fabric actually works in rain, but it, it's a cool look, and I wanted to show it to you because it's just a little bit different. This I showed in my community page. It's probably sold out, and this is more expensive. 
but again, I just think it's it's cool. It's a, some, it's the kind of thing when you put this on, you are dressed because the coat is the statement. Now, this pattern is very similar to that chartreuse pattern that Nicole Kidman wore. I think that pattern was like that. But I think this is, because the collar isn't super wide, in fact, it's not even a V, it's, it's a, a regular collar, words today. I think this kind of coat is something that you could keep in your wardrobe for decades, if this is a color story that works for you. I keep all of my coats, you guys. <laughs> I, I keep, it's makeup is not the only thing I have a problem to parting with. This is another one I put on my community page. It reminds me very much of my teddy, but mine is a notch collar and it's not so wide. And this one is long, where mine is knee length. I love the color because it looks like it's a gray, but on the site they say it's green. So it might be a gray, green, light khaki kind of autumn -y color that I, I just love that. And the price was very, very good for what it was which was expensive. So here's a classic trench, double-breasted. I can't tell if the collar is super wide or not. The lapel is really wide, but it is quite classic. And that, if it suits your body type, is the kind of thing that is going to be there forever. Oh, here it is, I got another one. Yeah, it is black, but online it looks like it's brown. And the price is fantastic. And I love this. This is another double-breasted. I love the way she, the models kind of pulled out the pockets to show you how much volume is. So I feel like what's going on here is the shape is kind of the star of the show. And it, it again, something you would wear with scarves because of the V-neck on it. I just like it. I think it's, it's really special. And it might work really well into spring. So this coat, this is a puffer coat that is so unusual. It comes with the collar. So what you see around her right now is, is it looks like it's a scarf. It's separate as far as I can tell. And when you see it not on the model, it just looks like that is cool. That is a cool girl coat for somebody who lives in cold weather climate who is perfectly fine wearing black. I didn't want to do too many blacks and neutrals because remember I was inspired by Nicole Kidman but I just didn't find anything like it so I, I just tried to find things that I thought were were cool. This, it comes in two colors. This color with the orange, I love orange as a liner. It just excites me. You've seen the look a million times. Usually it's with khaki but this I think is black. But again, something to wear that's kind of cool, kind of edgy, a little bit more casual if you live in the cold weather climate. What I like about this is while it is kind of a puffer, it comes with a belt so you don't look like the Michelin man. And if you have a waist and that's your thing, you know, if you're more of an hourglass, so big up waist, big down, this is the kind of coat that helps you feel a little bit more confident and a little less like you're just this blah walking down the street with your big puffer on. And again, black. This coat was the closest I could find in color to what Nicole Kidman was wearing. And it's nothing like it in cut. And it's suede. And it has, um, I, I think that's I can't remember, because I pulled these a couple of days ago, if this is faux or not. I don't think it is. I would imagine, though, that lining is really warm and very soft and just makes you, you know, there are some coats you put on that just make you feel fantastic. I think that coat would do it. Certainly not for everyone. And I love chartreuse, but I don't know if that I would do this if I was in the market for another coat. Am I though? I have a purse that color and it works. Now here's the closest thing in blue that I found and this is fairly classic. It's long again. I think this is more fall and spring if you live in cold weather climate but it's a single breasted. The collar starts a little bit higher up 
and it's not as wide. The lapels are not as wide as some of the other things that we've been seeing. And I just thought I'd bring that to your attention because it has a, a very pretty look about it, a classic look about it, but the fabric also, like it has a little bit of life to it. Now, she wore a cape in the beginning of uh, the season when she went to that party. The dress she was wearing, I can't remember, I think it was a Givenchy. It was a Givenchy, but it was the cape, you know, because you didn't see the dress until after she took it off. I thought that cape's insane. That cape the costumer had made. Ah, I love that. This is the closest I could find. And I'm shocked that I found something close to it. It's not really a cape, though. It's just that the hem and the arms are ending at the same place, and it has that fullness that makes it look like a cape. And it does have embroidery, like the cape that she wore. But her cape was definitely evening, and it was more subtle in the colors, and it had some sparkles, some sequins, or something shiny, beads in it. And this is not that. This, I think, you probably could wear at night, but the zipper is exposed, which makes it a little more edgy for evening. I love this. This is Dries Van Noten, who I pretty much adore. I just love his aesthetic because it's a little bit different without being too different. He plays so well with color and with fabric and with prints. And I just had to bring this to your attention, of course. Not for everybody, but that's what I'm here for. I'm here for the not for everybody. This one, I would say, is the closest I could find to the Etro. It's nothing like the Etro. The reason I decided to show this to you, though, was this reminds me of a wallpaper print from the early 1900s in the United States. It might have been in England as well. There's something about this that is kind of cool and... If you look very closely, I think this is a King Charles um, Chevalier. Is that how you say it? It's dog. <laughs> I think it's kind of fun. I, I, I don't know. I, I just had to share because there's something kind of fun about that one. And finally, you know, I pulled this, but now I'm looking at it again, and there's something a little off. It comes in three different colors, and each color is a different price. And I thought, you know, I think I like this color the best. But now I'm not so sure. I love the quilting. I love the neck, what they're doing with this uh, collar. And I feel like you could probably bring this up closer to your neck and get more coverage with it and get more drama with it as well. But it can also be just, you know, putting on to run some errands at the same time. I don't think this is going to be something very, very warm because the sleeves are quite open. I can just imagine cold air going up there and there's a slit on the side. But there's something about this that I do kind of like and I wanted to share it with you. And you guys, that's today's video. Just talking about coats because apparently a lot of people get coats this time of year. It could be because they're on sale this time of year or maybe you're just tired of the coat that you have been wearing for so long and maybe where you live it's still cold and you still have you know maybe a solid month or longer to wear some heavy coats and you want to just cheer yourself up because it can be a little depressing to have dreary weather day after day after day after day I get it even though I don't live it I mean I did live it for the last couple of weeks and it was, it was getting a little tiresome and that was just for a couple of weeks. I can't imagine living with that kind of weather for two or three months. I think that's why everybody takes a holiday in warm places this time of year. Anyway, you guys, just wanted to share. I hope it was helpful. Again, the links will be down below in order that I discuss them. Most of the prices, I would say two-thirds of these, are from lower-end, more high-street kind of stores. And one third might be from, I think I looked at Nordstrom and the Outnet. And that's going to wrap up today's video. Until we meet again, mwah, ciao.